stop sending your personal health data to third party services. If you are using MyFitnessPal, Nike Training Club or Lifesum, you are openly sharing your gender, height, weight, food intake and any other fitness metrics with them. With a quick look at their privacy policy, you can see they are sending them to third party providers. Once again, the open source world provides a private solution to regain privacy. Let's discover Wager a free open source workout manager, including a workout routines creator with tons of ready to use exercises, a nutrition planner and analytics to keep track of your progress. To give it a try, you can use their free cloud version accessible on their website. Then to self host it, you can follow their installation guide on their GitHub repository or use a platform like ours, Elestio, to take care of the installation, backup, updates and maintenance for you. The self-hosted version is ideal for gym owners or people willing to create their fitness community with friends. To deploy your own instance of Wager on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for Wager, select, choose your cloud provider, your region and your service plan based on your needs, then next. Adjust your configuration, choose your level of support and then create service. Once the installation is finished, you can access your instance by following the link on your administration dashboard of Elestio. And the self-hosted version also includes their landing page, which means you can customize it, customize the code and make it yours if you have a gym center. By default, we have an account automatically created when we create the Elestio instance, but let's register and create our account as a normal user. I'll name myself Elestio, I add my email address and define a password. Then register and we arrive on that nice dashboard. It's split into three categories, routine, nutritional plan and weight. So let's start by adding my weight. So you can enter your weight in kilograms. I think I'm around 80 and you also add the date, then submit. Now it's not very visual because we only have one value. So let's add other ones. Let's say yesterday, I was two kilos more. Submit. And let's do it again. Let's say 83, like a week ago and submit. And now we have our weight curve drawn perfectly that can keep you motivated. But to have a nice curve like this, what you will need to do is to create your workout routine. So let's go and add. What we need to do is add training day. Let's name it, for example, upper body and you decide which day you want to work on your upper body. By the way, I'm not a fitness expert. I'm more an open source software expert. So if I say things that are not really true, please try to be open minded. So let's choose Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So three days a week will be dedicated to upper body. We can hit save. We arrive on the workout editor. You hit the plus button here and you will have the ability to choose the different exercises attached to this workout routine. Here in the exercises section, it's a drop down with all the exercises. So let's type crunch. You can see all of them, but here it's not the best place to find them. And especially because I don't know much in this topic, I need somewhere to know what are the name of the exercises. So what you can do is go to training and open the exercises page. Here you have the list of all the exercises. Some come with pictures and videos and some are just raw text. You can choose which category, let's say we want the abs, then you can choose which equipment, which muscles, it's pretty well done. So here we have crunches, we will add this one. Let's get back here, crunches, let's select, and you need to define the number of reps. Let's say you make 10, I don't think there's a kilo unit for this, but let's enter random values. And then we can save it. Now we have our first exercise. Let's add another one to that routine. Again, I have no idea about the exercises. So let's go to arms. We have biceps curls with dumbbell. Okay, let's search for biceps with dumbbells. Perfect. Here we have the repetitions. Here the kilogram It's important because it defines what you will uh, play with, train with maybe and save again. It's not the best workout. So we have this weird workout I created, but if you are like me, a beginner in the fitness world, you can find ready to use templates. You go in the top bar to training and you can go to public templates. 
And if you are using the open source version, you won't have templates by default because it is your center. So you have to add your workout routine. But you can also create an account on the cloud version to browse the different templates, open them and copy because the exercises, then you have it so you can copy and create your routines based on this. So when you have prepared your multiple workout routine, what you will need to create is a schedule, which is your program over the week to grow. So add a schedule, enter the name fitness program. I want to start right now. I'm very motivated. Schedule active is a loop. So if you start again, let's say no. And then you add your workout routine to it. So you choose, I only have one. You choose the duration, you save it. Let's add a second time the same, but just to give you the big picture. Let's say this time it's only two times. And now you don't have to overthink. You just have to open Wager to look at the date and when you are and do your routine. And because you are working out very hard, you should see uh, enhancement changes on your body. So go to training and you have the measurements feature. It is like the body weight that we did, but for different measures. Maybe I need to move my camera here. So you have the plus button on the bottom right and you can name I want my biceps because I I trained it a lot. So I want to see the growth, the actual growth and to measure it over time. The unit, let's say it's centimeters, submit. And again, you add values. I have no idea what are good values for biceps. Let's submit. Let's do it again. Let's say it was in the past, so I lost some weight. But at least you can see there's an evolution. It should be the opposite if you train correctly. And because good training doesn't go alone, you need to focus on what you eat, your diet. So there are nice features about nutrition. So let's open nutrition plans. We have nothing yet because we need to prepare everything. Let's name it nutritional plan. OK, 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 submit. Let's open it. And here you will have a deep analysis of what you eat when you submit your meals to Wager. So first thing to do is go on the bottom right and add nutrition diary entry. So you search an ingredient, let's say peels. OK, I ate 200 grams, submit. And you can see we have some logged values. So it contains protein, carbohydrates. Let's add other so it's more visual. If you know me well, you know that I like chicken. So let's search for chicken. There are a lot of different variation. Let's say it was chicken pate, which if I'm correct, it's a Vietnamese dish. Amount should be 500 gram. I was very hungry. OK, oh, you, you can set the time and the date. Let's submit it. And this time you can see it's not the most healthy dish because it contains a lot of fat and saturated fat. You get the idea. It helps you know what you are eating and to adjust your diet to be more prone to what you are looking for. Fine, like we have seen for the exercises where we had the whole list, I think we also have it, the ingredient overview. And here you have the whole list of ingredients. So maybe at that page it's not very interesting. It's a lot of zero percent. Oh, fat strawberry yogurt. And you can edit the amount, the quantity, and you can see the macronutrients that are composing this dish. And then to not choose blindly what weight you want, there are some tools to help you. So you have the weight overview that we saw earlier, but here it's more detailed because you have all the inputs in that list here. And if you go to nutrition, so remember your last weight, go to BMI calculator, you enter your height, I'm 188 and let's say I'm 80 kilos, calculate and you can see that my BMI is 22.63, which set me in the normal section, fine. You also have other tools such as daily calories calculators based on what you are doing. And to use all those tools, luckily there are mobile applications. So when you do your workout, you don't have to bring your laptop or use the web version of the website. So you can go to the App Store and search for Wager, then download the app. Once it's done, open it. And then here you can enter your username and password. But if you are using the self-hosted version, you have this button named Use Custom Server. So here you can replace the URL of your instance and enter your credentials. Then click on Login and you can find this nice interface representing all we have seen together, but adapted for mobile. You also have one feature we didn't talk before, which is the gallery, and you can upload images to it. So let's say you want to show your big muscle, take a picture. Here is my big muscle. 
strong and safe. And you can use this gallery to track visually your progress. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Wager with us. Please hit the like button to make our content more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, I recommend you watch this video, available here.